So just before the break, we got some pointers on deep cleaning at home. The need to keep our homes as safe as possible has never been more important. So how about we take a few moments to focus more specifically on the health and safety of your bathroom? I'd like to introduce to you this afternoon, Mr. John Reynolds. John's the operations manager with Hurls Bath and Home Solutions via Zoom, by the way. John, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for having us. So, John, we're spending a whole lot of time at home, especially under the current conditions. If you could boil it all down to one thing about staying safe at home, particularly in the bathroom, what would it be? Well, staying safe in the bathroom really uh, is also about keeping it, it clean. Your, your tub area, no matter how often you clean it, is one of the most polluted areas of the home, and they show warning signs that something isn't right. It's no, no different than really the, the check engine light in your car. So the most common problems are mold, mildew, soap scum, maybe damaged tile and, and missing grout, right? So uh, mold requires three things to form and, and grow. It needs a constant temperature, a dampness, and a food source. And the problem with your tub or shower area is that all three of those things are, are present. Right. Uh, so what you need in there is something that's non-porous at Hurls. Uh, we have a non-porous 100% uh, acrylic shower or tub system that's also infused with silver ion technology that keeps microbes from growing and prevents uh, any of that growth. So you can truly start your day fresh and clean in, in a shower area. That's huge. That's huge. So we were talking earlier about how important it is to keep surfaces clean. And, and dry as well, because I guess there's a whole bunch of slips that take that happen at home. Yeah, right. So the CDC reports that 81% of falls in, that happen in the home happen in the bathroom. So at Hurls, we, we suggest a couple things. Number one is that you use grab bars and you should have them installed properly. We like to see one in a vertical position uh, just outside the shower where you step in and out with your wet feet and right. then you like to see one in a horizontal position uh on the back wall the soap wall where a soap dish traditionally goes so so you can use that to be safe while you're actually bathing in addition we like to see that over time excessive cleaning uh, can wear away at that non-skid bottom of the tub or shower yeah. and that can be a potential danger so you want to make sure you have the proper coefficient of friction there and get it you know make sure it, it's safe to stand on I, I hate to admit, I've never considered coefficient of friction in my bathroom at home. Thank you for bringing that up, John. That is extremely yeah, important. Right. Exactly I don't know what term, I was thinking. But, <laughs> but you don't want to slip and fall down, right? There are a lot of dangerous objects in that little confined space, toilets, vanities, you know, yeah. things that, that, that are a potential hazard. You are exactly right. John, in our continued support of our local small businesses, we want everybody to know that for the time being, as long as you can, you guys are still open for business. Absolutely. So uh, it, it's important to acknowledge what is going on and how it impact, impacts our, our lives and, and to make adjustments, right? Uh, the top priority is the health and safety of our customers, our employees, and the community. So we have taken precautions to do so. We follow all the recommended guidelines and, and we're gonna stay open to, to serve our customers, their needs, and and the community you know we're going to do everything that we can to keep things going in these uh trying times john reynolds with hurls bath and home solutions thank you for spending some time with us this afternoon.